look at these results here this website is actually using the 2024 theme in wordpress so i have been lately using these gutenberg block based themes and i'm really enjoying the process of using and creating websites using the block themes one of the very default themes that comes with 2024 you can see the performance that it gives you on my mediocre level hosting that i am using you can say it is a mediocre level hosting and still you can see you can see that i am able to pull 99 percent the page speed inside now if i go here in this video i'm going to show you how you can customize the headers and the footers and some of the pages using the 2024 theme if you are interested in learning how to use the 2024 theme in wordpress and without further ado let's get started now so as you guys know that whenever you install the wordpress by default you get this 2024 theme and this is how the theme normally looks so let's just dive into the theme and let's see how you can actually start customizing this theme there are many things different inside of this theme for example if i go to this dashboard option right here here if i hover over to this appearance option you can see we only have these themes and editors option available here we don't have any navigation or widgets that kind of options available there they have moved around that options from here let's just dive into those options let's click on the visits side here first of all we want to look at how you can edit this header so for that just click on this edit site right here and as you will click on this edit site this will start getting loaded and here you can see by default it will take you to this page right here and this is the blog home page what we actually are interested in is this header area so click on this header here and as you will click on the header you will see something like this you don't find any kind of options available here in the customizer to customize the header areas just like any other wordpress themes that are available out there or gutenberg theme like cadence or generate press that are available out there but in order to edit your header in the 2024 theme what you actually want to do is to hover over and then click on this header right here and as you will click on this header you can see it will expand and this is how you can see that this is the header now because this is using the block based theme so here you can click on this navigator option right here and here you can see this is a group element here you can expand these things so as you will expand inside of a group you can see that we have a row and this is highlighting in a blue color indicating that what is inside the row now if i expand this option you can see we further have two rows here in the first row i have contained this logo and in the second row i have contained this navigation items and a call to actions button that is pretty much kind of like a standard header that normally nowadays websites are using and that is all about this header right here but you can do a lot of things here like any kind of wordpress theme you can change this logo right here just click over the logo here you will find this option for the media so click on the media option right here and then click on this either upload or open the media library and then if you will click on this open media library right here you can upload your own logo i've already uploaded a logo and i have selected that logo that is why the logo is showing right there now in this row right here we have this navigation menu and then we have this call to action button that i have created here what I actually did is to simply click on this plus icon and then I simply search for this button and then I dragged that button inside of this group and that is how that button is showing up right there. Now you can see our new button has been added here. Now from here what you can do is to type in your text. So maybe get started I can name it as get started and here you can see now we have this additional button here in this way you can easily insert more elements here i'll just get rid of this element from here the button that we have added now making this header responsive is very simple as well you can easily make this header responsive now for that here you will find this option where you have this laptop icon then just by clicking here you will see other devices that are available for the responsive model you can make your header responsive so this is not all about this thing you have a lot of many pre-built header available so for that what you can do is to simply click on this plus icon and then from here you will see this option pattern so they call it as patterns so once you will click here here just click on the headers and as you will click on the header here you can see we have this transparent header and then a full width header and some other different kind of headers that we are we have available here you have this hamburger style header available as well in order to insert these headers just click on this header and it will start appearing right there 
it is that simple what i actually want to do is to remove everything that we have so i'll just delete this row from here and now you can see we are only left with the paragraph now from here what i can do is to simply click on this plus icon and then you can click on the patterns and then click on the headers option right here and then from here i can just insert this header here and as i insert this you can see now we have this header here where we have this logo at this place and then a menu right there and as someone clicks here the menus get opens something like this it is showing up like that because for now it is considering this white part as the whole area of the header now this is pretty much different if you are coming from the page builders like elementor or dv this is pretty much different or different than how those page builders work now you obviously will asking how will you edit this thing so here is this panel the setting panel just expand this panel and then there is the navigator click on this navigator and here is the navigation click on this navigation and then you can go to the settings to change the settings about this header however you want and then here is the orientation you can change the orientation overlay menu however you want here you can see i have changed it and set it off and now our header is changed to the normal menu right here so what i actually can do is to get rid of this template from here or this pattern from here and then we can actually make a simple header or we can import a simple header right there so i click on this plus icon and then you can click on pattern again and then there is the header so from the header what i actually want to do is to insert one of these headers so let's just insert this header right here and i'm good like the way it is looking i just want to change the background color so i'll click on the header area and then from here you can click on this icon right here here is the background color so click on the background color and i want to change it to the white color and as i click on the white color here you can see it has been updated to the white color now for example i want to get rid of this title from here i can simply click on these three dots and then i can click on this delete and now we are left with this logo and a normal menu that generally comes with any kind of wordpress theme now maybe you want to reduce the width of this one so i can just change a value to 80 and here you can see this is how it is looking so once you feel like you are comfortable and good with the header you can simply click on this save button right here and as you will click on this save you can go back so in order to go back click on your logo here for the navigation and this is how your navigation will appear so from here you can go back now in here notice we are at this place where it says manage template part so just like any other page builder gutenberg or the block based themes also have templates to create the dynamic component on your web so here if i go back and here you can see the templates as i click on the templates here you can see you can make your own archive pages blog pages index pages 404 pages templates search results templates single post templates or any other kind of template i'm not going to go in details a lot but if you will open these you will find the template options here and then you can customize them according to your need so now what i actually am interested in is to look in how we can edit the footer of our website so let's just go back from here what i actually want to do is to go back to visit website and then you can click on edit site option right here as you will click on edit site just go back from here then from here what we actually are interested in is footer so in order to access the footer settings what you actually want to do is to click on this patterns and then from here scroll down here you will see this option footer so click on this footer and here you will find your footer so i can click on this footer i already have modified this footer so as you did with the header just hover over to this and then click on this footer right here here you can see this is how our footer is looking just like the header you have a lot many patterns available for the footer so click on this plus icon right here and then where it says pattern click on the pattern and then from here you can filter out the footer so as i click on the footer here you can see we have different kind of footers available you can easily import them and that is simple just click once over to that and it will automatically import the footer for you and you can remove already existing footer by clicking on these three dots and then clicking on delete and here you can see this has been deleted and then you can click on this save button right here and then you can click on your logo to go back so here as i go back now here you can see we have some style options available so under the styles option you can create different color palettes or different fonts you can define them here in the styles panel so if i click here you can see my header color and these colors are changed if i click on other palette you can see the colors are real time changing so you can define your own color palettes here and then you can go ahead and play around with all of these things here you can see the typography option you can choose the fonts that you want to use you can um, identify and select 
different styles for the buttons, captions, headings, links, and text orchestra orchestra. You can also define the color palette right here. And then you can look at the layout and you can define the layout however you want your website to lay it out. Now from here you can click on the logo and then you can go back. And then from here just go back. Now click on this pages option right here and then we are here on the home page. So as I go on the home page you can see this is our home page. I can click on this continue button. So now let's just try importing a pattern on our home page. So for that what I'll do is to simply click on this plus icon and then I can click on this pattern. And as you will click on this pattern here you can click on this explore all patterns. So as you will click on explore our all pattern this kind of thing will open and here all of your patterns will get loaded. So for now first of all what I actually want to do is to add a featured section. I'll click on this featured section and here you can see we have multiple patterns available for our featured section. So I'm kind of like interested in a simple kind of featured section. What I can do is to import this kind of featured section right here and as I click here you can see this has been added right there at this place and then after that following the same process you can keep adding other sections on your web for example what you want to do is to add a portfolio section so you can click on the portfolio section right here and here you will find some mockups so i'll just insert one of these so let's insert this right here and here you can see this has been added right here so let's just go ahead and insert a services section so i'll insert a services maybe a services section like this so as i scroll down here you can see this has been added right at this place now maybe you want to add an about us section so you can click on this about us section and then from here you can insert the about us section so i'll insert the about us here after that maybe you want to add an FAQ so I can adjust, just insert the FAQ section right here and then at the last maybe you want to add a call to action so just click on the call to actions and then pick one of these call to actions that are already been designed for you. So let's just pick one of these call to actions right here and then just click on this save option so as I save this option now our page has been created you can click on this logo to go back so let's just go back from there now that we have created our home page what we can actually do is to change the color palette so I actually want to go back and I want to go ahead with the default color palette right here so now what we can do is to go back and now I want to set the page that we have created as the front page of our website so in order to do that just click on this review one change and then click on this save as you will click save this will get saved and then from here you can click on this logo option right here and it will take you back to the WordPress dashboard. Now from here what you can do is to hover over to this settings option and then you can click on this readings and then from here choose a static page and then from here click home and then click on save changes and as you will click on save changes and if I will click on this uh, go to website here you can see this is the page that we have created and this is how the page is looking. Now let me just show you how you can hide this block right here because we don't actually want to display this title area right here. Now hiding this title is really very easy. What you actually want to do is to go back to this place where we go to after clicking on this edit site. So this is kind of like a customizer. So once you will go here just click on this page and then click on the home page where you want to change it as you will click on the home then over over to the page as it will expand here you will see this template click on the template right here and then click on swap template as you will click on the swap template here you will find three different kind of templates so what we are actually interested in is this template that says page no title so select this page no title as you select this you can see that area is gone from here and then I can just click on this save option right here as I click save I go back and if I give it a refresh here you can see that header is gone. In this way you can completely use the 2024 theme in WordPress and this is really a very lightweight theme. If you are creating a very basic website or a brochure type business website then this is very much the theme that you would like and you would want to use. I hope you find this video useful. If you found this video useful please be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates. If you have any questions just drop them in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.